So you all have uh, probably heard uh, uh, Wernicke encephalopathy during your medical studies and also seen some cases in the hospital, but really there is not so many larger cohort studies looking at this, um, at this disease. Hello everyone, my name is Philipp Schütz. I'm a professor of internal medicine here in Switzerland at the University of Basel and the Kanton Spital Aarau. And I'd like to talk to you today about an article which is published um, about uh, hospital outcomes in medical patients with alcohol-related and non-alcohol-related Wernicke encephalopathy. So um, we did a nationwide retrospective cohort study to look at outcomes using claims data. And so I'd like to um, give the word to my colleague Roshani Rashia, who is an intern in our um, university hospital and has done tremendous work here. And, and she's going to give you some details about the study and the main takeaways from the study. Please, uh, Roshani. Venic encephalopathy is an acute and life-threatening neurological disorder caused by timing deficiency. The most common cause for this illness is alcoholism. But any other medical condition like malnutrition, malignancy, infection, hyperemesis gravidarum can lead to timing deficiency. The main takeaway message of our article is that patients with alcohol-related Wernicke encephalopathy had higher hospitalization rates and a higher risk for the development to a Korsakoff syndrome. But on the other hand, the patients with non-alcohol-related Wernicke encephalopathy had a higher risk for in-hospital mortality and a longer ICU stay. In our retrospective cohort study, we had a total of 4,098 hospitalizations with Wernicke encephalopathy in eight years. 93.3% the, um, of them were alcohol-related cases. Incident rates for hospitalizations were 5.4% for alcohol-related Wernicke encephalopathy and 0.93 for non-alcohol-related Wernicke encephalopathy. The main hospital outcome um, in hospital mortality was significantly lower in patients with alcohol-related Wernicke encephalopathy. Patients with non-alcohol-related Wernicke encephalopathy had a lower risk to develop a Korsakoff syndrome and one-year hospital readmission. Based on our study, um, further research is needed, especially because when it can encephalopathy is a serious um, but rare condition for hospitalization. So it's even rarer to see patients with non-alcohol related Wernicke encephalopathy. But because of its higher risk for in-hospital mortality in this group, there is much more research needed to uh, how to identify these people so treatment can be initiated quickly in these patients. So I think it, it is really a very important article with a lot of patience and a lot of learning for us. And it is a serious condition. However, um, as Roshani just pointed out, it is also preventable. And so it's important for clinicians to realize uh, how to prevent this condition. So I would all invite you now to read the article um, on, uh, online um, and learn more about um, Wernicke encephalopathy. Thank you very much for your attention. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.